Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now guys in Yoruba land we say nkontobagba la mafun, nkontobagba ni amafun and that means uh we we'll prefer whatever solution is required to a problem. So whatever solution is required to solve a problem is the solution that we're going to put forward. That's effectively what that means. So guys I bring you this. We have devised means to kick bad Fulani headsmen out of Yoruba land and Nigeria. So that's according to the Oni of Affairs. So that's the headline. Again, we have devised means to kick bad Fulani headsmen out of Yoruba land and Nigeria. And it is the Oni of Ife that is saying this. So now let's get into the body of the story. The Arole Odua and Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty Oni Adeyeye Eniton Ogunwisi Ojaja II has assured Nigerians that the country's traditional institution has devised a means through which the criminals amongst the Fulani headsmen who are behind the menace of insecurity in Yoruba land and other parts of the country will be kicked out soon or the ogunwusi who is the co-chairman of the national council of traditional rulers gave the assurances during the courtesy visit of emir of bagu alhaji mohammed uh, halisu dantoro uh, katiro the fourth to his um ile odua palace in ilefe on wednesday The African foremost traditional ruler who decried the spate of killing, kidnapping, castle rustling and other banditry activities in the country, especially in Yoruba land, explained that the hoodlums were on a mission to dent the country's good image, especially as Nigerians are renowned as peace lovers. We keep hammering on Fulani herdsmen trying to take over everywhere. It is the bad ones that we want to kick out and enough is enough. We will kick them and do justice to the peace and peaceful coexistence in our country. What has been happening in Yoruba land recently is alien to us. We will work towards bringing sanity to our communities. People should not live in fear but should have that freedom to move from one point to the other the way you all have moved freely for several hours driving from New Busa today all the way to Ife. Nigeria is our country and we are aware of all security issues confronting us. We know how everybody is panicking. It is about time for us to separate the corn from the shaft so now that separates the corn from the shaft it might well be a metaphor for us uh, just breaking up because everybody really wants that country to break up apart from the people who are holding us at uh, gunpoint uh, but we carry on uh, we want our country to be prosperous in peaceful coexistence we do not want people to live in fear and that is the reason why we are trying to connect to one another as traditional rulers to find lasting solutions to these acts of criminality some few days ago i was with the sultan of sokoto as the co-chairman of the national council of traditional rulers of nigeria discussing that it is important for us to stand against all the criminals that are hiding under the hospice of fulani herdsmen everybody is saying they are fulani herdsmen now kidnapping everywhere enough of that we must separate the corn from the shaft put him behind the past and let him peace reign in our land and in our country and that is what we stand for we must join together to end this criminality being perpetrated by enemies of nigeria with ungodly spirit irrespective of their tribes the only said earlier the emir of bagu al aji uh, haliru dantoro kitoro the fourth whilst acknowledging efforts of the Oni uh, Ogunwisi and other members of the country's traditional council, he explained that traditional rulers must remain committed to the oneness of the country. 
this is a homecoming for me. I said so because of the age-long ties between Borgu Kingdom and Ilefe. He recently got married and I have come to visit him before it is too late. We are here to felicitate with you. We wish you a happy married life. God will always uphold you for the peace and unity you are doing for this country and Africa. As traditional rulers, we are for our people and we should be seen working for them to enhance their unity. All of us are children of the same African parent and the north and south of Nigeria should be seen as one. This is the only way we can collectively defeat a common enemy operating on, under whatever disguise. This is the secret behind the relationship of our predecessors. They were building bridges across the nation and I believe we are equally on that route. We should not allow anyone or group of persons to divide us with their personal interest. All we want is our country's growth and development so that we all can be proud that we are Nigerians. Nigeria is one. We are supposed to preach peace in this country and I pray that there will be peace in Nigeria and Nigeria must continue to grow. This is what Oni of Ife stands for and we are fully supporting him. There should not be any difference that will bring crisis between us because we all believe in God and pray that the Almighty Allah be with us all. The relationship between Bogo Kingdom and Ilefe is age long as Ilefe used to be a very warm home to my late father who was the immediate past emir of Bogu, Al-Haji uh, Haliru Dan Toro the, f the third, and the immediate past Oni of Ife, Oba uh, Okunade Shijuade Olubose the second, and I am happy that we are both building on this good legacy. We will definitely work together for the betterment of our people. Bogu is a mini Nigeria because it is one of the few places in the country where you can find all tribes coexisting peacefully. I am overwhelmed by the cultural display and warm reception we received from the good people of Ilefe and it shows the leadership qualities of the Oni. I want to assure you that we see you as our leader and we are ready to support you as a leader the emir said so now this is now the only of if effectively saying enough is enough to all this uh, fulani nonsense that uh, malam buhari has now introduced to the nigerian space saying that his people have the lay of the land and they can they can people pretty much rampage through the land as they as they will cutting through your farmland and eating your 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 corn and whatever your your yam with their cattle and if you say yeah and the MBA, yeah, they, they will come with their Meidubu attitude. So the only of Ife is now saying that enough is enough, that we don't want this in Yoruba land, and is now evoking Ayila La Shokono and Shongo and Ogun and all of the gods of Yoruba land that look, we will weigh you down. If you come into this this thing, you will sink into the ground uh, to the waist and you'll be there uh, half a year, half a run for the rest of your life. So he's now evoking the gods and saying enough is enough to Malam Buhari and his bandy, uh, his, his, merry, his merry men of uh, Fulani, uh, by whatever it is that you are calling them, that is using to torment and terrorize people all the way through the Nigerian firmament. The, the, the Yorubas are now saying enough is enough because uh, what is his name? Ghani Adams came out just a few a few days ago to say enough is enough. The only of is now saying enough is enough so the effectively the yoruba race is saying enough is enough because i was in nigeria not that long ago and i was in um uh, they're just traveling through the in interlands and everywhere you go you see all these people herding their cattle and anytime you see them your heart will skip a bit and you think god almighty you know you because obviously the, you, they are they are an intimidating sight now so you are in your own homestead
traveling through the the states and the cities and the settlements and you are having all these fulani men just showing up in in pockets terrorizing you and making your your heart skip a beat in your own hometown in yoruba land i mean the enough is enough really enough is enough so whatever it is that malam buhari and his uh, tribesmen are doing they can go and do it in uh, katina you know so that that's their land so they do whatever it is that they want to do there but the the yoruba land is for the yoruba people you know and we don't have a history of cattle uh, uh, cattle herding in in yoruba land so and we don't want cattle herders in yoruba land as well so it's our land and we determine what we do so effectively what the uh only of is saying to malam buhari is that enough is enough with you and your uh cattle heads uh brainless whatever it is that you are doing enough is enough of all that nonsense and it's not saying like you may control the guns but we, we have shock not here and we have shall go so effectively he's now evoking the gods so conversations in the comment section is what i am inviting what the only said you know the fulani herdsmen in yoruba homesteads is what we are discussing now so come join me in the comment section to have this conversation but before you come join me in the comment section to have this conversation click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray bell button that way you are notified every time i drop a new video then come join me in the comment section let me know what you're thinking so i'll leave you here meet you there but here i say peace